everyone. I hope this finds you all doing well. I wanted to come to you today with some ideas for hand strengthening for pre school skills for pre-academic skills um, so hopefully these are all things that you have at home and can kind of implement all along the way as we continue this journey at home the first one is a pair of kitchen tongs um, what I would like to see at this stage is your child being able to hold it like they would a pencil almost so thumb on one side and just two fingers on the other and then we're gonna have them just I have some cotton balls here they can pick up whatever you have at home just pick it up move it from one spot to the other open in and close in those tongs doesn't matter what they pick up or where they put it as long as they're opening and closing the tongs if this is too hard for your child then let them go back to this and open and close um, another one would be a good spray bottle you can have them water plants you can have them spray it in the bathtub, spray hair, whatever works, whatever makes it fun. Um, it can be a good outside activity, um, but just squeezing it with their dominant hand if you know which hand that is. And if you have a suspicion of which hand, we wanna try to strengthen their dominant hand for handwriting and cutting skills down the line. This is a ketchup bottle or mustard bottle, um, and I have filled it up with water. So having them just squeeze that with their dominant hand, they can do it with their non-dominant hand too, but we really want to focus on strengthening that dominant hand. Um, another good activity um, at this stage is clothespins. This, I have all different colored ones. You can make it a game where they match the colors or you can write numbers on them and have them match it with a number but just squeezing those clothespins is really good hand strengthening um especially if you can get them to do it with just those three fingers that they're gonna hold their crayon or marker with um another good one is taking a clothespin i've got a cotton ball here and i'm just gonna stick it in that clothespin and then have them paint um i've squirted some paint on here trying to use just those fingers um, and then not squeeze the clothespin while they're painting. Having enough control over their fingers to not let the cotton ball come out um, is a good activity. Another good activity to work on hand strengthening for this age, this is a breadcrumb container. You can use whatever you have. I have cut a slit in the top. A piggy bank is the same thing, but I don't happen to have one in my house. So, um, whatever you have, I have buttons. You can practice putting buttons in the little slit. Um, I have coins, if you're comfortable with that, you can do that. Um, of course, monitor your child. I know some kids still put things in their mouth, so just making sure nobody's choking on anything. But um, having your child pick something up from the table and then being able to put it in a container in a small spot like that is good intrinsic fine motor strengthening, intrinsic muscles of their hands, so those little bitty muscles in their hand. Um, it's a great way to be working on those skills, and a bonus is it's kind of a pre-buttoning skill because you're um, putting this small thing in this tiny hole, so that's kind of a buttoning skill. And then the last thing I would say for this stage is if your child is just coloring and you notice that they're holding their marker like this, or like this, or even like this. Um, one good thing you can do, and um, you don't have to use the top to the marker, um, but you can use the top to the marker, is have them put the top to their marker, or you can use a cotton ball, or a pom-pom, or whatever you have, under that fourth and fifth finger, and then have them hold their marker. So as long as they're holding that in their hand, they're gonna have a much harder time holding their marker the wrong way. So that kind of promotes that better grasp um, and just overall hand strength because they're using those muscles in that fourth and fifth finger while they're coloring. So I hope some of these ideas help and I really hope to see you all soon. Bye-bye.